This video demonstrates the power of hardware acceleration by moving algorithms from software running on a processor into hardware running on programmable logic. This setup will demonstrate a Sobel edge detection filter. This algorithm will edge detect a 1920 by 1080 video stream at 60 frames per second. Xilinx published an application note, XAP 890, called Zinc All Programmable System on a Chip Sobel Filter Implementation using the Vivado HLS tool. This application note describes how to generate a, the Sobel edge detection filter in a Zinc 7000 All Programmable System on a Chip, the ZZ702 base targeted reference design using Vivado High Level Synthesis tool, the HLS tool. The techniques described in this application note present the fundamental flow for integrating an IP block generated by the Vivado HLS tool into a Zinc All Programmable System on a Chip based system. The Vivado HLS tool provides a methodology for migrating algorithms from the processor onto the FPGA logic. In the context of Zinc devices, this means moving code from the ARM dual core Cortex A9 processor to the FPGA logic for acceleration. The code implemented with the HLS tool in hardware represents the computational bottleneck of the algorithm. This bottleneck can be discovered through pro code profiling. For this application note, the computational bottleneck is the Sobel edge detection algorithm running at 60 frames per second on a resolution of 1080p. This application note describes how to take a C description of the algorithm, generate RTL with the HLS tool, and integrate the resulting block into a hardware system design. What you see on the screen is video, a DVD playing from a la the laptop, or what you see here which is an internally generated video pattern with a moving box. First you see the raw video, then I turn on edge detection running on one of the ARM processor cores. The two green boxes showing up in the small Linux GUI show the ARM core's CPU usage utilization and the high performance AXI interface activity. When the Sobel filter in software is enabled, one of the ARM core's CPU usage jumps up to 100% and can perform the algorithm at about two full frames per second. When enabling the same function in hardware, you can see the edge detection can keep up with the 60 frames per second video. If you could see the two green statistics window, you will see that the CPU usage goes back down to near zero in the hardware accelerated version, and the second AXI interface jumps up representing the hardware accelerated activity. The rest of this video shows these modes compared simultaneously. The sharks are gone. Don't worry about a thing. Today you're what we're saying. Every little thing is gonna be alright. Listen, we are gay. Don't worry about a thing.
Shark Venice. Hi, I'm Oscar. You might think you know, but you have no idea. Welcome to my crib. The good life, the way the other half lives. Check it out. I got my 60 inch high jump flat screen TV with six speakers surround. CD, DVD, PlayStation, hookup, and an eight track player for those days when you're feeling just a little old school. Because <laughs> even a superstar, Mac Daddy Fish like me, has to have the basic necessities. Yeah, like money. <laughs> 